In this video, I'm going to talk about multiplication and absolute value and how they relate to each other. Let's start, let's start off with a problem. We're, we need to figure out 2 times the absolute value of 2 minus 5. So let's pay very careful attention to what this is saying. This is saying take the quantity 2 and multiply it by the quantity the absolute value of 2 minus 5. In particular, what this means is that we are not multiplying 2 by 2 and then subtracting 5 and then taking the absolute value. We need to figure out what each of these two quantities are separately and then multiply them together. So let's give it a try. So what is 2 minus 5? So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And so what we're left with is 2 times the absolute value of negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3, and so we're left with 2 times 3, which is 6. Now give this problem a try. Pause the video, try to work it out for yourself, and then turn the video on to check your work. Okay. Now that you've had a chance to give this a try, let's work through it together. So, 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So what we have is 5 times the absolute value of negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. And so we have 5 times 5 which is 25. Let's try the same problem, but I'm going to write it a little bit differently. You'll notice here I've left off the dot that means multiplication. I've left off the multiplication sign. And that's actually okay. When you see a number written next to something within the absolute value bars, it's implied that you're multiplying together the number with the absolute value. So there's no need for a dot. In this new notation, this calculation looks like this. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So if we have to find the absolute value of 5 times negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Sorry. That dot was not supposed to be there. So we have to find the absolute value of 5 times 5. And now, I add back in the dot. Because if I just wrote 5 next to a 5, we w you would think this is 55. So even though there is no dot here or here, we still need to write a dot here. And 5 times 5 is 25. So that was a little bit about how absolute value and multiplication relate to each other. And now you're ready to try some more of the problems. 